Hello friends, in this video I am going to solve a problem from CSIR net exam and this is from part C so there might be more than one options correct so be, be careful <clears throat> so let us see what is the problem so the problem is we have given a n by n matrix A <clears throat> over C such that every non-zero vector of Cn is an eigenvector of A. Then we need to find out what are the options are correct. So the first option says that all eigenvalues of A are equal. The second option says that the all eigenvalues of A are distinct. The third option says that A is equal to lambda i for some lambda belongs to C. The fourth option says that the minimal polynomial of A is same as the characteristic polynomial of A. So let us solve this. <coughs> so they are saying that so the solution every non zero vector is an eigenvector. So what does that mean? In particular, if we have these uh, standard uh, unit vectors which are uh, 0, 0, 0 and 1 at the ith position again 0, 0. So these are also eigenvectors because these are non-zero vectors, right? So <coughs> that means A EI is equal to some lambda I EI and lambda i belongs to the complex number so what does that mean <clears throat> aei now suppose you have a matrix which which is like this a11 like this a1n uh, an and an and aei is just the ith column of A and what is that ith column is A1i A2i up to ANi and this, say, this is saying that AEI is equal to lambda i EI what does that mean AEI is equal to lambda i EI so that means AEI is equal to just lambda i uh, at the ith position and 0 everywhere else. <clears throat> this says that the a i ith entry which implies a a ith entry is lambda i and the all other entries are 0. a j i will be 0 if j is not equal to i. What does that mean? A j i is equal to 0 whenever j is not equal to i and only a i i is lambda i. That means the a must be a diagonal matrix because the only diagonal entries are surviving here. So this will imply that the a is diagonal matrix. and in particular it has to be exactly equal to lambda 1, lambda 2 up to lambda n at the diagonals and all other entries are 0. So but we are not done it. It is also saying that the this vector the one one at the each coordinate one 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 up to one this is exactly the summation of all eis this is also non-zero vector of cn and and ev since every non-zero vector is an eigenvector so this is also an eigenvector we have got a to be a diagonal matrix and this is also eigenvector what does that mean a phi is equal to some lambda phi where lambda belongs to the complex number 
but what is av av is just so the av which is same as just the lambda 1 lambda 2 up to lambda n and this is saying that this is equal to lambda times v and the lambda times v is just the lambda at uh, each coordinates so what does this imply this implies that the all lambda i's must be equal to lambda so this means that the a is a diagonal matrix but moreover a is just the scalar matrix where the each diagonal entry is lambda and the all other entries are zero now let us come back to the uh, problem so what is it saying the since we have got that a to be a scalar matrix let us check what are the options correct so all eigen have values of a are equal so this will be correct because because all the diagonal entries are lambda and consequently the second option second option is false because it is saying that eigen values are distinct and again a is equal to lambda i this is also correct because a, we have got that a is a scalar matrix and the fourth option will not be correct because the what is the minimal polynomial of the scalar matrix minimal polynomial of scalar matrix is just x minus lambda but the characteristic polynomial of a will be x minus lambda raised to n right so these two polynomials are not equal therefore the fourth option cannot be correct and that's it for now i hope you like this video thanks a lot for watching if you like this video please uh, share it and subscribe thank you